I was out yesterday doing some shopping and I couldn't help but pick up some more bulbs here. These are cannas and they're a great addition to any garden. If you're in a cold climate like me, I'm in zone 5, it's always a good idea to start these guys indoors. Get them growing so that by the time spring comes along, we have a fairly good sized plant to put outside. That will give you earlier flowers, it'll give you more flowers, and a much bigger, impressive plant. In this video, I'm going to show you how to start these early indoors. These are the cannas I selected. They're called Louise Cotton. They have a nice yellow flower with very dark leaves. The one thing that is a little unique about these is that they're quite short growing. They should only be about two feet tall. That's going to work quite well for me because I'm going to grow some of these in pots. So let's have a look inside. So they're packed in peat moss. Now these are rhizomes. Very similar to bearded iris and you can see that they've started to grow which is not unusual when you buy these packages they're kept a little too warm and they start to sprout I can also see some new roots down here nice white roots so that's looking really good here's another nice large one now ideally you buy them before they start growing like this, but this plant will be fine. This is broken off here. Again, nice roots are starting. Always feel them for mushiness. Now this has a growing tip here which looks good. This end is quite soft and mushy. So what I'm going to do with this one is try to break it off here and get rid of the mushy end. Yeah, and you can see the color inside here is quite dark. Get rid of that. Hopefully this piece will grow. Here's another really nice one. Nice growth. Nice strong rhizomes. Everything is good and firm. Here's a mushy piece that already fell off. This one, this part of it is good. The back end is mushy. So I'm going to get a knife and just cut this piece off, I think. So it's a package of five. I have three good ones. I have one that's fairly good. And then I have one that's crap. It's probably not going to grow. Now there's not a lot you have to do to get these guys to grow. This is my Pro Mix. You can pot these up in pots or just use a tray like this. Set them in and just barely cover them with the peat moss. This new growth I'll just let stick up above the soil. Now we want this soil to be just a little bit moist. We want a good root system starting before we water these normally. So I'll just put a little bit of moisture on here and then leave it. I'd rather have it too dry than too wet. Too wet might rot these. Too dry will just slow them down. But as they start growing and as the root system gets larger, you give them a little bit more water each time. Now you don't really have to fertilize these. There's enough food stored in these rhizomes to get them started in spring. Cannas are considered frost sensitive. So what I'm going to do is keep these indoors until all danger of frost is gone. And only then do they go outside. Well, you don't want to take a chance on these. My rule of thumb is that I don't really take these plants outside until I have consistent 10 degrees centigrade temperatures. They like to grow warm. If I take them outside too early, they'll just stop growing anyways. And then there's a chance they'll be harmed with frost. Now I'm going to try something interesting with these. I'm going to take some of these and grow them in the ground, and I'm going to take the others and grow them in my pond. Cannas like to have wet feet. They like the roots in the water. And I want to see if they grow better in water or in soil. 
So hopefully I'll make another video at the end of the summer and show you how these did and compare the two growing systems. Anyways, if you've never grown cannas, give them a try. They're very easy to grow, very exotic looking. At the end of the summer, you'll want to dig them up and bring them indoors and store them for the winter. And I have a video to show you how to do that. Happy gardening.